Hey guys, uh, <clears throat> for this video today, uh, this will be a surprise video. Not just for you, the viewer, but also for myself as well, because we already know who will be taking over the Canadian Football League's jersey and apparel contract after the 2018 CFL season concludes. Now... <clears throat> For this video today, I will be sharing my thoughts on a company called New Era getting the CFL's jersey and apparel contract um, starting next year in 2019. So before I go on any further in this video, however, I want to take a moment to thank my one viewer, Noah Mason. Because thanks to Noah, I found out about this piece of news of New Era taking over the CFL's jersey and apparel contract from Adidas after this current 2018 CFL season is over. And Noah, it's because of that comment that you made in my last video that I found out about the New Era uh, deal with the CFL. So Noah, I want to take a moment to once again say thank you. I truly appreciate you letting me know about that. Thank you. Now... Speaking of my last video, in my last video I shared my thoughts on the fact that after this current 2018 CFL season is over, Adidas, after only just three seasons, is already stepping away from the Canadian Football League. And their contract is already coming to an end at the end of the season. So, in my last video, for anybody curious, um, I shared my thoughts on that. If you want to watch that, um, feel free to do so, but if you don't, I'm going to quickly summarize it here anyway. So in my last video, I talked about the fact that Adidas has only had the CFL's jersey and apparel contract for the past th two seasons and this current 2018 season as well, because as I'm filming it, it's uh, this video, it's September 17th, 2018, eh? But the thing is... Um, Adidas has only had the CFL's contract for a whole total of three seasons. That's it. I honestly thought the contract would have been around, would have lasted for at least five years. And I also thought that we would have at least gotten one new alternate uniform or two or three maybe this year. But as I mentioned back in, I believe, June when I made my video on what is known so far regarding new 2018 CFL uniforms... I said that it's already been two seasons into the Adidas contract and we haven't even heard a single peep about a new alternate or throwback uniform for any of the CFL's nine teams. And I was starting and I was saying in that video that, you know, if they don't have any new alternate uniforms this year, something might something's up. I'd be, and I said that because I'd be really surprised, as I said in that video, I'd be, quote unquote, I'd be really surprised if we didn't at least see one new uniform this year. And a few months later in September, as if, as I'm filming this right now, now we know why. Because at the end of the season, Adidas is already ending their con, ending the contract with the CFL. After three years, this contract is not going on any further. Now, to go back to my last video, as I mentioned in that video, since Adidas has taken over, although there have been some teams that have upgraded their jerseys, and in Montreal's case, their some of the parts of their uniforms, such as their helmets and their pants, because they've been wearing the white pants and the white helmets instead of the silver, Although Montreal has been wearing the blue pants a little bit more as of late, even though I strongly prefer the white pants and white helmet, I think it's a better look. But um, but yeah, so besides some teams getting upgrades to their jerseys, I feel that overall Adidas has been a downgrade for the all of the team's uniforms as a whole, um, except Montreal. And the reason I say that is, is because, in my opinion, BC's uniforms got a huge downgrade. Although I like the updated home and away jerseys for the, for the Calgary Stampeders compared to their last ones, I don't like the templated pants, and I don't like the word marks on the pants either. Now, if we move on to the Edmonton Eskimos, 
their away jersey is much better than the one it replaced three years ago. Their home jersey, although I liked their last design better before uh, Adidas took the contract from Reebok, which, by the way, is already owned by Adidas anyway, um, I still think Edmonton's current home jersey is simple, but it's still really quite a nice-looking uniform. I still, th or sorry, the jersey's nice. But as for the pants on the Eskimos and and the Argonauts uniforms as well, the pants striping is cut off three quarters of the way down the pants for something that is called a quote-unquote truncated stripe. It's truncated is a fancy term for pants striping that's cut off three quarters of the way down the pants. And I think it was a terrible decision by both the Argonauts and the Eskimos. And I know it's Adidas who makes the uniforms, but the fact that the Eskimos and Argonauts didn't do anything to correct that after three whole seasons with it, I'm disappointed with that. If they haven't... I mean, if teams like, say, um, the Thai Cats can put numbers on the sides of their pants or they can add a gold stripe along their helmet, which has been a really nice welcome change, in my opinion, that they brought in back at their Labor Day game against Toronto... Um, you know, if teams can make small changes like that, um, then why couldn't the Eskimos and the Argonauts find a way to fix their truncated stripes? I mean, I know they've got the templated pants too, and speaking of templates, I'll get into that shortly. But, um, you know, teams like Saskatchewan, their jerseys are better than what they replaced. I, li I really like the Winnipeg Blue Bombers in royal blue full-time again even though I really do miss the gold away jersey, and I also feel that the away jersey is a little bit too busy for my liking. I don't really care for the royal blue on the shoulders, even though it doesn't look completely terrible. Um, I wish that their away jersey was a little bit simpler for me, but it's a matter of opinion, of course. Um, but yeah, Winnipeg's royal blue home jersey is a really good jersey as well, in my opinion. However, I guess it's the way football jersey templates are now to be more form-fitting. But the thing is, I liked their last royal blue throwback jersey quite a bit more than I liked their... Or a bit more than the uh, current home jersey. Because I don't like how it's just a panel on the... Or just a tight form-fitting panel on the arms that basically had their logo and stripes screen printed on it. Like, I understand why the jerseys are made that way to be more form-fitting, but if Reebok was able to have the Winnipeg Blue Bombers Royal Blue throwback jersey have arm striping that went all the way around the arms and had a, 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 a sewn-on a, uh, a sewn logo on the arms, and that's just three years ago, then why couldn't they have done something like that now? Even though I thought it was, even though it's fine the way it is, I like the old way with the thinner striping on the arms a little bit more. Um, also, you know, if you go to Hamilton, I've I've hated Hamilton's redesign. The word the word marks on the above the numbers are much bigger now, which I think sucks. And they took the striping off the pants. I thought the striping on the pants and the striping and the color on the collar actually made their jerseys really look a lot better. Like the striping on the pants was so good that even their monochrome black uniforms actually, in my opinion, looked really, really nice during the final years of the Reebok contract before their parent company Adidas took over because Adidas owns Reebok, eh? But then you get teams like Toronto. I mean, their home and away jerseys are really, really good in my opinion. Um, the fact that they added the powder blue trim around the numbers was a nice touch. But their pants striping is cut off three quarters of the way down the pants, and their helmets now have just a single light blue stripe along the center of them. Like, why? And speaking of stripes on the helmets, Hamilton has not had the helmet striping at all. I, and all of a sudden, during the Labor Day weekend a couple weeks ago, as of this video, they brought the gold stripe, single gold, or they put a single gold stripe along the center of their helmet, and it looks so much better. Um, as for Ottawa, in my opinion, their home, their new home jersey is way too much like the Calgary Stampeders' good, really good third jersey. 
It's a worse version with the red side panels, and, they, and Ottawa's even got a hashtag Our Nation on the sides of their pants. Another team with word marks along the sides of their pants, and it's not. And the thing is, in my opinion, theirs is the worst. It's not even a word mark; it's a bloody hashtag. Like, are you kidding me? Who thought that was a good idea? And then their away jersey is better than their last away jersey during the Reebok era, but still very templated. And speaking of templates, and I'll, and with Montreal. I feel they're the only team that I've actually seen during the Adidas era that I've liked their uniforms more during the Adidas era than the Reebok one. Now, regarding the uniforms themselves, I find that too many teams have had templated uniforms. BC, Saskatchewan, uh, Edmonton, okay, Edmonton's pants or have been very templated. Ottawa as well. I mean, Toronto's pants as well. Um, too many teams have gone with templated looks. Even Calgary as well, in my opinion. I mean, when you see Calgary and Ottawa playing, or when I've seen those two teams playing over the past few couple of years, their looks, they've almost looked like intra-squad games. And that's not a compliment, folks. Like, even with Ottawa's last home jersey, for a jersey that had a really modern look to it, the red numbers with the little bit of red p piping on the sides of the jersey and the pants actually made, in my opinion, a really decent home jersey that you could tell was unique from Calgary's jerseys. Now they look too much like Calgary, even though I like their new away jersey better. And speaking of Ottawa... They're a team that, with the Adidas uniforms, I've noticed that some teams' nameplates either cut into the shoulder yokes of the uniform design like BC's, or teams like Ottawa have nameplates that are way, way too small. And it's like, we never had this problem during the Reebok years. We never had that problem. But since Adidas has come in, you get teams with cut-off pants striping, word marks along the sides of the pants, same pant style templates, same jersey templates, and just it just has not been good, in my opinion. I have not liked Adidas. Now, I I spent a lot of my last video ranting about the Adidas uniforms in their entirety, and I'm sorry for how long my last video was, and if you don't want to watch it, folks, I don't blame you. But the thing is, because of the length, I, I can understand people not wanting to watch a 40 minute long video about the CFL. I get it. But the thing is, I really wanted to take some time to rant because I'm sorry, but I have not been a fan of what Adidas has done with the CFL. Now, to finally really start to get into this conversation about new era, making the CFL's uniforms. I'm slightly optimistic about the CFL going with this company because they've never made jerseys before. And I want to believe that New Era is going to want to really make a good first impression because they've supposedly never made any professional leagues jerseys before. So I'm hoping that with this company that is mostly known for their hats and a little bit of t some t-shirts and and hoodies and stuff that's about it from what I know but I know New Era is a company that's basically hats 90% hats that's it and some t-shirts and stuff and that's it but with this company there's a little I have a little bit of optimism because I don't think they're just going to give us some some basic templates and say that's it I kind of have a feeling that with New Era there is a chance that they may say, hey, let's make some really good uniforms and make a good impression to the sports world that, hey, our company can also make uniforms too. I'm keeping my fingers crossed, but at the same time, I'm also, I'm also a little bit curious. I'm a little bit, as someone who likes jerseys, I'm a little bit... Uh, pessimistic as well I do I do have a feeling that this could either go really good or really bad I don't know if there will be an in-between for this company but I'm hoping that 
new era is going to put all my doubts to rest and I'm going to be able to say in like sometime next year that, hey, this company is coming in and the CFL's uniforms look fantastic. That's what my hope is. But until they unveil the uniforms, we still don't know. But with New Era, I'm honestly excited because of the fact that they're a company that's never made jerseys before. I don't know what to expect. I, I actually think that the unveiling is going to be a really exciting time because it isn't going to be like a company like Adidas or Nike taking over where we're going to know that we're going to get one of their, their templates. This is a new company altogether coming in and doing something potentially completely different. And for that reason alone, I think there is a chance this next redesign for the CFL may actually be a redesign that a lot of us could sit down and say, hey, this looks really good. Reebok's last redesign in 2012, in my opinion, was the best redesign in the past, I don't know, long time. Although they didn't have a perfect, all the uniforms were not perfect. I mean, Ottawa's away jersey when they first came in a couple years later. I, I never liked their first away jersey. Their new one is better. I mean, Saskatchewan's last uniforms were worse than their current ones. Edmonton's away jersey was a side panel, shoulder yoke, dark green heavy mess with dark green helmets. It was a mess. Um, Calgary's last away uniform. It had red all the way along. I like the fact that they've added more black on the arms of the Adidas jerseys. Um, you know, when I'm talking, even the Winnipeg Blue Bombers' last navy blue jersey. And their gold one as well. Even though I really liked the Blue Bombers with a gold away jersey... They both those jerseys did have the side piping. I mean, Winnipeg's in Winnipeg's gold jerseys case. I thought that was a really nice away jersey. I thought it was so cool that a team did not have a white away uniform like everyone else. But their navy blue jersey was not that great, in my opinion. Though it was okay, but I most certainly liked the new royal blue jersey much better than that, eh? Um, now, when I, when I think about the rest of the CFL, you know, I just, and of course, Montreal, they added the word mark on, I think, their, it was either their home or away jersey, and I wish they never added that huge word mark above their numbers. I hope they get rid of that with New Era coming in. But uh, yeah, I just, you know, my thoughts on New Era is that I don't know what to think. But I'm also at the same time very excited because this is a company we've never seen before. And it gives me hope that maybe there is a chance that this redesign could be a huge improvement over what we got from Adidas just two years ago. And hopefully this time this company isn't going to be ending the or not ex having their contract go on beyond three seasons hopefully this one's going to be for at least five years as long as the jerseys look good of course i'm hoping that the contract won't be as short-lived as adidas because although i did not like adidas i was hoping to at least see a some new alternate uniforms just to see some new ideas and b so that we could actually see an adidas redesign and hopefully see adidas rectify in my opinion the, of course, the mistakes that I think they made with the CFL's uniforms two years ago back in 2016. That's my hope. Um, but until they're unveiled, who knows? Either we could look at New Era next year and say, hey, New Era has done a horrible job. These guys are even worse than Adidas. Or we could look at the uniforms and say, oh my gosh, these guys have done an outstanding job. Holy crap. I mean, I hope it's the latter. I hope it's like an, oh my god, 
these jerseys are so good, I want to buy a few of them. You know, hopefully their jerseys are the type where you look at them and say, wow, I want that. But uh, we'll have to wait and see. This is going to be a really interesting redesign because these guys have never made jerseys before. I'm actually really excited to see what they come up with because they're not like these major companies like Adidas, Nike, and Under Armour. They are completely new. They are completely out of left field. I never thought that they would go with New Era because I've always known New Era for t-shirts. But for me, I've always known them for just hats, especially baseball. But it turns out they do make t-shirts and stuff, some t-shirts, and I think some other stuff like hoodies as well. I, I'm not fully sure on what they make besides t-shirts and hats. But they're going to be making the Canadian Football League's jerseys in 2019 or starting in 2019. So it's going to be really interesting to see what we get from these guys. But before I wrap up as well, I also want to quickly mention how I feel about the fact that it's not Under Armour or Nike taking over. First off, I am really glad that it's not Under Armour because I've seen some of their college uniforms and I have not seen a single Under Armour football uniform that I even remotely like. As for Nike, in recent years, I feel that Nike has been doing a better job with the National Football League's uniforms in general, but I'm still not too much of a Nike fan. I feel that most of their redesigns are not very good. Um, and to my one subscriber, Sean, um, I so far I am not a fan of the Titans' new uniforms. Although I like the fact that the Jacksonville Jaguars really cleaned up their jerseys, I honestly feel that now they are a tad bit too plain. And I still feel that their away jerseys should have had teal numbers with black trim instead of just plain black numbers. And I also feel that the pants are a tad bit too plain as well. But, they're, but the Jaguars' new uniforms are much better than what they replaced, in my opinion. Even though I did like their last away jersey, eh? Or I mean their last white jersey. Um, well, technically it is their away jersey, but in football you do see white jerseys at home more often than you do in the National Hockey League or the CFL, eh? Um... But yeah, with Nike, I've seen a, with their most of their. I really haven't seen a Nike NFL uh, redesign where I've said, "Wow, that is absolutely amazing." I've seen some Nike, some Reebok, sorry, redesigns in the CFL where I've said, "Hey, these are really good." I haven't seen that with Adidas, even though I like the Blue Bombers home jersey now in royal blue again. Even though I like the ch slight modifications to Montreal's uniforms during the Adidas era. Even though I was disappointed to see Montreal in blue pants with their home uniform this past weekend against the BC Lions. But you know what? Uh, I haven't been happy with what I've been seeing from Adidas or Under Armour. And I really haven't been a big lover of Nike's redesign since they've taken over the NFL's jersey contract. So... Seeing a new company is actually something I am. I have a bit of optimism for. I'm hopeful. I, I have my doubts, but I also have a glimmer of hope that this could be really a great redesign. But remember, folks, time will tell. And until we see the jerseys, it could either be good, bad, or downright ugly, or maybe something in between as well. But on that note, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And as always... Until next time, take care, and of course, as always, bye for now.